fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken. All right, guys, here we go. Sun's coming up over beautiful Greenport, Long Island. I'm with Captain Rick, yes, Captain Sweeney, Captain Jack Sparrow. Aye! <laughs> We're going togging, Long Island Sound. Did you bring the uh, donuts? The donuts are here. Very good. You can rest easy now, Rick. All right. And Rick, this yes. is unusual for you to be in a smaller boat. We're on the Cobia today, Sweeney's boat and my boat. Captain Rick's uh, aluminum boat is out for maintenance. That's, that's what happens right. when you put it, metal. It's broken. It's yeah, broken. Yeah, that's yeah. what yeah. happens no, when you put no, metal no, no. in water. It's too cold. <laughs> it's too cold. The aluminum. <laughs> We're kidding. It's just yeah, regularly scheduled. Get my tea. All right, we'll catch up with you guys later. Hopefully, we catch them up today. Hello again, everybody. And as you saw in that cold intro, it's myself, John Halkius, uh, my boat partner, John Sweeney, his dad, Jack, our good friend. Um, Rick, uh, captain of the Blue Jay, you've seen him on other videos of ours, and John John Skinner's. Uh, and it, this is Sunday, October 14, and we're fishing for the first time on our boat with the trolling motor in the Long Island Sound for blackfish. And, and the key thing there is we're fishing in the Long Island Sound. Blackfish season in the Sound in New York opened October 11, three fish limit, 16 inches per man. Um, we are technically not in the Long Island Sound, our home port. We're in Greenport in the Baconic Bay. And the, the skewed way that the New York DC uh, set up the blackfish season this year, if you are not in the Long Island Sound region, your season doesn't open up until October 15, which in our case was the following day. Um, you are allowed four fish in what they call the New York Bite, which the DC is defining as everything except the Long Island Sound. So even though we could legally fish... Um, in the Long Island Sound, as uh, New York residents, and we all have our fishing licenses, we could not keep any fish because we would be transporting them back to the New York Bite, which is not in season. So just a, a, a really ridiculous, uh, skewed, not thought out well uh, regulation that, uh, that our friends at the DEC put together. And, and I'll stop editorializing. You'll hear Rick make a lot of comments because he didn't know we weren't going to keep fish till he got on the boat and we explained to him uh, you know, the, 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 the variance there between the bite and the sound. Um, you'll also see that we have our trolling motor in full effect. No anchor here. And uh, wow, it's going to be a game changer. We were in really, really shallow water. Um, and I, we had uh, easily over 100 blackfish between the, the four of us and probably 25 to 30 keepers. Um, yeah, and then a couple funny things. Uh, Sweeney forgot his pole, so uh, he brought as a joke his grandson's, uh, five-year-old grandson's ice fishing pole. He wound up using it for a lot of the trip, and it was really, and we were in shallow water, so it wasn't like uh, it made a difference, it, but it was really fun to watch him catch fish with that little pole. And... Uh, you know, also our transducer broke on the way to the fishing grounds right after we shot that cold intro. So, well, we were sans transducer the whole trip. So we honestly had no idea how deep we were. Um, and, you know, especially that first spot we're at, you, you could see the ground clearly. I mean, we were in probably no more than five feet of water. At, um, so, you know, as always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button. Whoa, right away with the hits. Still on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Bruising. Better one. That's a That's keeper. A yeah. Nice fish. Yeah. Too bad he's going back, Rick. Put him in the box, Jeff. John. Well, that's 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 a nice keeper one. Wasn't bad. And the rod I'm using is a St. Croix Triumph six-foot medium-rated rod with a Pen Battle 2000. 
uh, spooled with 10 pound suffix braided line. And the jig is a tidal tail three quarter ounce blackfish jig. And uh, be sure to check out the description for links to all these products. New York bite in Peconic Bay. And that season opens tomorrow. You're actually allowed more fish there. You're allowed four fish there. You're only allowed three in the Long Island Sound. But because we're going back to a port not in the Long Island Sound, we have decided to not take any chances with the law, despite uh, Rick's protestations. Um, and not only that, I think we should take <laughs> Rick, so you know what? Rick, I have three blackfish from yesterday fishing with Doc in the Long Island Sound. You can have two of them. I only want one, yeah. They're on ice in a cooler in my truck, so. No yep, so that, that should make you feel a little better. I would do anything for you, Rick. They're hitting it. Oh. Yeah. Not really. Not bad, but this one's on a keeper. Now, so, the, so those rules, does that mean when we fish at Fisher's Island, we can keep one? No, unfortunately it means we can only keep three, but we can come back to, you know, one of our spots in the bay and keep another fish. So what about uh, Montauk? How many fish are in Montauk? Montauk is three. Montauk is part of the New York bite, technically, under the, under the rules as they're written. No, 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 Montauk you can keep four. Montauk you can keep four, sorry. Sweetie, I really want to see like an eight pounder you on that reel. Five fish, or six fish. Or yeah, no, I know. <laughs> well, I. So do I. Trust me. Rick's on, and he doesn't even know it. <laughs> Another little baby. No, I'm getting hit as soon as I go down. But I'm I'm ignoring all the pecs and just waiting for the run, hoping that eventually. Ooh, that swam with it. I, th I think so, because I just got a nice one. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah. Woo. Nice See that fish. splash? Nice. Yeah. Woo, look at that. Look at that. Wow. 17, 18 inches. <laughs> so the bait we're using here are green crabs we're cutting them in half uh putting the hook uh in one leg and out the other simple as that uh, i've been peeling off the shell i'm big on that um and you you heard me there say swimming with it um the the reason I think jigs work so well is because they are light. Uh, I'm using three quarter ounce. Sweeney's using half ounce. Um, the heaviest one, Jack uh, Sweeney's using a one ounce, and he actually uh, caught the fewest fish. Um, I think the lighter you go, the better. And uh, the great thing about the light jigs is that big black fish can pick them up, put it in their mouth. They don't see a weight difference between the crab and the jig, and they swim away with it thinking they have the bait in their mouth. And uh, oftentimes that's what you actually feel. You, you feel your line moving. Um, and uh, that means there's a fish swimming away with it and you set hard on that. Ooh. Oh, there you go. That's the one. No. 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 I don't even know if it's bigger than the last one I just caught. It's gonna be a keeper, but yeah, it's a keeper. No, no, we're okay. I'm letting my line. All right, now I have a New York bite limit too. You're killing me. I just caught two keepers there. Right in that right in that spot. They're 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 hanging out right there. Uh oh, shouldn't have said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
there I am. What are you doing? You're, you're mugging me over here. Look how close to these rocks we are. And you hear me say, look how close to these rocks we are. It's important to note here, again, we are not anchored. We're using our trolling motor. And if you look just to the right of me, uh, behind me to the right a little bit, you'll see a, a big green spot in the water. That, that's actually a rock that's only about uh, eight to eight inches to a foot under the water. And man, that, that trolling motor is holding this boat in a 10 mile an hour north wind. You'd see the chop and we're not moving. It's, it's, we're not swinging. It, we're staying put. It, it, it really is a game changer. I got one. Oh, come on. Come on. He's on it. Yep. Come on. Just start swimming with it. Those last two fish just took off with it. Yeah. Oh, oh. The other spot you're talking about is the one over there by Fisher's. Oh, I'm going to smack him. <laughs> oh, shit, John. I'm going to be Sorry. No, 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 no. You're good. Oh, I got my spot back. It's hitting. Something's hitting. Come on. Swim, baby. Swim. Swim. Oh, there he goes. He's going to swim in a second, Sweeney. Yep, there. There it goes. There it goes. Go, go. Yep, it's on. I just have no angle here. See this, Rick? This is how it's done. <laughs> Rick is a. Oh, that's Rick now, because I'm on the. Hey. Oh, oh my God! Look, I can't believe he's gone. Finally. Finally, this guy's down. Well, I think he just took me under a rock, unfortunately. Just got him out. Yeah, it's a good one. Another key. Look at this one. Oh, look at that one. And he took me under a rock. I I brought some of the rock up with me. Look at that. You're getting better. Oh, that's a nice fish. Hey, uh, do me a favor, Rick. Can you take us? Thank you. Yeah, this, this is uh, six pounds, five pounds. Oh, yeah. 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 If I could get this stupid. You want some help with the box? Yeah, sure. Oh! Uh, screwed up the release. I started using the hook, it changed. Oh, nice one. Oh, you got jacked too. Well, you're on video saying that. Ah, oh, I got hooked up on this rock. I'm out. I got a good one. I see Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got to look up there, I guess. Rick, what do you think? What a shame. Throw that back. Oh, yeah, throw it back. <laughs> you uh, leave the legs on there, John? Uh, I leave a couple on always. So I have two on here. And I just do one leg, Rick, and out oh. the other. Right. And always have the, the hook shank showing.
the you know the end of the last half of the hook showing the point yeah so all you really got to do is drop it here I always sell them I don't know no I was curious I been in that one I didn't some of them I wasn't like cracking white that one I didn't imagine how many fish are down there considering how many we caught and probably none of them were hooked twice Oh, I'm getting hit. Waiting for the swim or a hard yank. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. There he goes. There he goes, Sweeney. And I got him. Oh, good one. Oh, man. Really good one. Yeah. Oh, dude. Uh, no, but I think this is going to be the biggest one I caught today. Oh, top water blackfish. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He took a nice long run. Oh, look how fat he is, dude. Might be a pregnant female. Oh, this is definitely a keeper, too. Jack, look at the girth on this. This has weight. Whoa. I tried to let you go, buddy. Oh, the crabs are attacking it. Whoa! It fell in the bucket. Fell in the bucket. There oh, there you go. <laughs> I took a drag. <laughs> oh, I can't oh, wait. <laughs> wait till Jaden sees this video. Granddad using his pole. <laughs> You know, the one thing you have going, though, it's a nice fishing pole, so it's not like a, a real kid's pole. Yeah, although JT said it was a $30 pole. Oh, man. Let me give you a hand here. Oh, it's a keeper. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's a nice fish. It's nice, it's nice. You got it? Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, nice. Very nice. Look at the head on that. Huh? Not bad. And yeah, he picked it up and swam. And it was going to be more of the same for the next couple of hours. Uh, we, we stayed till about noon. Um, just a lot of catch and release. And sadly, especially for Rick, uh, we couldn't keep any. And, you know, apologies to Jack and Sweeney and Rick that I didn't show more of their fish, especially Sweeney, because he caught a, a ton of fish on that little uh, ice fishing pole. But most of the trip, he was far away from me, and I just did not get any good shots of it. Um, so, you know, uh, the... The lesson here was we couldn't keep any of these fish, but uh, there's a lot more season left. We'll have plenty of meat for the winter. Um, and again, just a reminder, uh, you know, if you are not a subscriber and you like these videos and you want to see more content like this, please do hit that subscribe button. Are you serious? Are you on the bottom? Because I'm getting killed here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, man. Dude, oh, he got me in a rock. He swam with it, he got me in a rock. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh. One hook and he still got you in a rock. Yeah, oh, he's out, he's out. It just took off on me. And he's got weight. Look at this, sweetie. He's gonna take a run any second. Maybe not. No, 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 no. There he goes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that blackfish. Delicious blackfish. You guys told me you weren't keeping fish today. Worried about. And anyway, if we were just going by what we caught, you wouldn't have any fish anyway. What are you talking about? I caught a, my limited keeper. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I got more than I've you caught limited. your limit of keepers. I don't think so, pal. You mugged my spot, perhaps. We. Uh, it's all on video. We started right I here. I told you. You're back where in your to spot. Catch this and look, he crossed you. I know.